Well, hello, old dearies. It's me, Agnes Smith, Nomadic Fanatic's number one fan. In this video, Eric shows off another frivolous purchase, gets angry over rain, and then breaks down because his girlfriend's cat winds up missing. Exciting! Let's watch! Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Of course, I'm uploading this video with Connection Internet, quite possibly the greatest internet service on the planet. But let's talk about reliability. Now, I know that you've seen the Starlink receiver in the background of many of my videos. Guys, I just have that in case there's a problem with Connection Internet. You're just going to have to take my word that all my videos were uploaded using Connection instead of Starlink. Do you think a sponsor like Connection would ever do business with someone that didn't have integrity? Of course not. So don't be stupid. Go with the winner. Connection Internet. Enter the promo code Nomadic Schematic during sign up to get 15% off service. And I get a kickback. It's a win-win. You help me, and in turn I'm helped. Okay, guys. You're never, ever, 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 ever going to believe what I've got to show you. Ever. Check out my brand like new quad. I think I'm going to name it Quaddy. It's been in the shop for six weeks, but there's still something wrong with it. Remember a few weeks ago when I said I was broke after buying Frosty, my 20-year-old truck with 200,000 miles on it? Explain to me why, if I were broke, would I be able to purchase a vehicle like this? Why do I even have it? Because Camper Van Kevin has one? I'll be leaving camp soon, and the brutal Arizona heat won't be doing me any favors for my uncovered truck and this quad, not to mention that their internal parts will be ravaged by pack rats, since there'll be practically no one to check on them for weeks, or even months. Ugh, it's raining again. I hate the rain. This summer was the opposite of last year. Instead of weeks of blistering heat, all it does is rain now. Why can't it always be sunshine and rainbows? I guess I think I'm the main character in this world. A world that revolves around me. Isn't it weird that most of my problems that I have in life could easily be fixed if I didn't have this kind of mindset? Yesterday. Hear ye, meow meow. Don't be a me pequeño your gatito. Oh, what will I ever do without my precious yin? It almost seems like it was a bad idea to let my cats roam freely outside in the desert. Oh, I am so sad. My heart is breaking. Oh, by the way, I am now monetized. What are the odds that losing my cat would coincide with my channel becoming monetized? You think I'm a bad person? You blame me, Kitaranis? You think you're better than me? Well, screw you! Screw everybody! The following day. Guys, it's been a few days since Blossom's cat Yin went missing. And I'm sorry. I'm going to get a little emotional. <laughs> I really miss that little guy, even though it barely was any of my videos. The thought of him alone out there in the desert, it just breaks my heart. <laughs> what kind of world would let that happen to a poor pet? Why does this situation seem vaguely similar? Oh, poor Yin, please come back. Otherwise, Blossom will have to rename her channel to Blossom and Kitty. <laughs> I bet some Karen out there has him in her basement. You monster! Let him go! He belongs to us! And just because Yin has been missing since late July, and I'm just now getting to covering it, doesn't mean that I'm being selfish! I am tired of the hate! Get off my channel! Go! I don't have time for that! Somewhere out there is Blossom's little cat. Eric, I didn't think I would have to be the one to tell you this, but homes in Arizona don't have basements. Both you and Blossom are real pieces of work. If my cat was missing, I wouldn't be spending time carefully positioning my camera to film an obviously acted out scene. Yeah, right. We all believe that Eric cried more for Blossom's missing cat than Blossom did. You really think your audience are a bunch of suckers, don't you? Have a blessed day, oh dearies. Phenomatic Fanatic's number one fan. Be sure to like and subscribe, and perhaps consider becoming an NF number one fan member. Members enjoy early content, uncensored videos, behind-the-scenes featurettes, and more. Wow!